<laughs> what are your memories with him then, Brad? Well, the I think the best way to put it, 1994, um, he came out, he played in the World Cup in the U.S. I was in the um, in the U.S. squad, and and I, uh, he failed a drugs test after their first game against Greece. Um, I think believe they won 4-0. And in 1995, um, I was part of a team that played in the Copa America in Uruguay, and we got drawn against Argentina in our group. This is with the uh, I think the uh, Batistuta led team, but uh, Diego Maradona. About five minutes into the game, we hear the uh, the stadium just go up in a roar, and we're we're in Paysandú, a little area in Uruguay, a uh, stadium. I, I mean, I can't recall, maybe fifteen thousand people, um, and uh, but but completely packed, and all all four sides of the pitch are singing Diego Maradona's name. And you look up, and Diego had turned up to the game, um, and he was up in the uh, up in the director's box. Came down after the game, said hello to uh, to both teams. But if you if you think about it and put it in perspective, it's not often, maybe not ever, where somebody would fail a drugs test, and be banned from playing uh, international football. Maybe I, I don't know what his exact ban it was. I can't I can't remember that. But the the adoration that he had from there and for the remainder of the match the fans sang maradona's name just from one end diego maradona diego maradona the entire the entire match and 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 he was he was banned i believe in most countries most heroes um they would be fallen heroes and there would be a lot of negative media there would be a lot of negative press and with diego maradona i i, I mean it was absolutely remarkable to see up close and personal um, exactly how loved that man was, you know. And to get on to Gary's point, I'm sure there were a lot of people that tried to help him along the way. Um, it, but did he need help? I mean, that was his. Mm -hmm. That, you know, it, it was it was his life, and he ran it in a um, ran it in a cer certain way. I'm not going to pretend that I knew him, um, but uh, to have the type of problems or that we say problems that he had off the field. To then be loved by so many, I mean, that, that tells you how how good he actually was, and people will look right through all of that just so they could get another glimpse of that man on the pitch. Is that why then? Because I th I think you you took the words out of my mouth that he had his weaknesses, he had his flaw. He was a very flawed man at one point, but people still hailed him as a hero. It's just the fact that his talent just speaks across borders all around the world. You see people mourning uh, for his passing all the way from China to, you know, even kids nowadays who have never watched him play live growing up in this sort of generation. They know who Diego Maradona is. They hail after him. They look up to him. What what makes Diego Maradona so special then, Brad? Well, if, I think the best thing, when, uh, when I heard the news, you go back up, I think most, most all of us would have Googled his name and, and gone through or seen uh, all the videos. There's, there's, there's two videos that actually put it in all perspective for me. And he's a young kid in both of them. And he's in uh, full tracksuit, top to bottom. And he's mud from head to toe. The goalkeeper's in the goal. He's chipping the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper's chasing him, trying to punch him in the head for chipping him. He's taking penalties. He's doing volleys. He's running around in the mud. He's got a smile from ear to ear. And he's the world's best footballer. And it just puts everything in perspective. So take all the glory, all the money, all the... You know what the nights out of the club, all the cars, all the houses, all anything that that he ever had. For me, that was Diego Maradona. You sit, saw the smile on his face, like just sitting there playing in the mud. It seemed to me in those videos that training was over, everyone else went in, and he was out there for an extra 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, two hours, juggling, doing fitness with his coach, um, just just mucking around in the mud. You know, it's like that old saying, are we too struck not old saying, but are we too structured now? You know, when we've lost the art of throwing down two T-shirts on one side and two T-shirts on the other for goals and having a three aside, that's what it looked like to me. And it looked like he was so vibrant and having so much fun. And on top of that, he was so, so very good.
Now, Gary, you were at that controversial game. Fortunately or unfortunately, he will be known um, as part of his identity, that hand of God goal. But it's the second one, the solo goal that really took a lot of people's breath away. That I think that game really encapsulated what Diego Maradona is about. I mean, you were there. What was it like to witness all of that in front of your own eyes? Well, I was on the substitutes bench and I was looking forward to hopefully getting on. But, you know... You, you can't understand or nobody can really appreciate how bad the pitch was. In the Azteca Stadium, the playing surface was shocking. Nothing like today's pitches. You know, you're playing at 7,500 feet. You're at altitude. The, the air is really, really thin. You know, dribbling, running with the ball is one of the hardest disciplines physically, not to mention technically, in the game. And, and when he eventually picks up the ball, to be, to be honest with you, he turns away from Peter Reid. He leaves Peter Beardsley and Steve Hodge behind. He skips past Terry Butcher. Terry Fennick can't bring him down. He's already booked. He skips past the keeper and Terry Butcher again. And my namesake, the other Gary Stevens, is trying to get back on the line. You know, if you just watch his balance, you know, every single touch is with his left foot. Um, and, you know, we talked about him before the game you know, for days before the game. Bobby Robson, in my opinion, probably, and I'm, I'm a great admirer of Sir Bobby Robson, the late, great Sir Bobby Robson. You know, Bobby probably built him up more than he should have done. You know, Maradona can do this to us. Maradona can do that to us. You know, we have to be careful here. Um, and to be honest with you, he built him up so much, but Maradona even surpassed that. Um, how did I feel in the dugout? Um, well, I was tempted to applaud the goal, the second one, the mazy dribble from just inside his own half. Um, <laughs> and I quite wanted to punch him for the hand of God goal, to be honest with you, because that was the end of my World Cup, the end of our World Cup, and we were going back home.